we're standing in the eastern entrance into the Roman Amphitheatre. So behind us is this corridor that takes us off into the arena. And it seated about 7,000 people, which is about a third of the population of London. So in the arena, you have a large oval area of sand, which is where all the action takes place. And then around the arena, you have tiers of seats, just like you would get in a modern sports stadium. So a full day at the games. In the morning, you have the hunting of animals, around about lunchtime, execution of criminals, and then in the afternoon you have the gladiatorial combats where you have different gladiators fighting each other. There are different reasons that people might become a gladiator. It might be a criminal sentence, which is um, ad ludos, which means to the games, so you have to fight as gladiator for three years, and if you survive then you're free. Um, you might just sign up to be a gladiator because you're very poor and you perhaps don't have very many prospects and at least it's a way of getting money. Um, or you might sign up because you think it's an exciting lifestyle. I think the atmosphere would have been quite almost hysterical during a proper gladiatorial combat. I mean, the crowd would have been incredibly excited. And there are accounts all the time of people almost having bloodlust and they want to see the violence. This person has had a, a really strong, powerful blow to the side of their head and they've snapped this portion off. And then there are some very distinctive holes here and that's where it's been chewed by a dog. And then this person received many, many lethal blows to their head, which was probably their cause of death. So the areas here that are missing, so part of his cheekbone and um, the bit above his ear, these are all big blows that he's received to his head, which have broken these bones off. He's has a puncture injury to just just on the side of his head here, and then he's got a massive blunt force injury where again he's been hit on the back of the head, and then underneath he's got a sharp force weapon injury there. So perhaps his head was put on a spike, or perhaps that was the instrument that was used to decapitate him. Gladiatorial combats weren't always to the death. Um, gladiators could be spared and they would appeal to the crowd for mercy. So the fallen gladiator would raise his finger. The decision, the final decision, is for the show's promoter, the editor. So they will be influenced by what the crowd thinks and they'll decide whether the gladiator lives or dies. The amphitheatre was found in 1988 by archaeologists who were digging here before the Guildhall Art Gallery was built. They hadn't realised at the beginning what they had found. It was a series of walls at funny angles and it was only when they sort of did a join the dots exercise they realised they'd found part of an amphitheatre, which was incredibly exciting. We'd always thought that London would have one, but we just didn't know where it was. And so the remains have been preserved in the basement of the Guildhall Art Gallery and you can see them whenever you like.